Hi guys and welcome to Unity tutorial of a tic-tac-toe game. Let me show you guys how this works. If I click on reset, okay, we can then start another project. There we go, we have one one reset. And let's go for there we go two one. Okay, and we can even reset the whole lot to start a new game entirely. Okay, guys, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take you guys straight to Unity Development Environment and I will put one of these together. So let's do that now, guys. So I'm going to stop this and exit out. Let's start a new project. Okay, let's click on new. And right here, I'm going to select this template 2D. You can go for 3D, the choice is yours. But I'm going to just go for 2D. So in there, I'll just call that tic tac toe underscore YouTube. There we go. So I'm going to click on create right there. And our package is getting ready. Okay, guys, the development environment is ready. So I'm going to start by first of all, let's go straight to the hierarchy here drop it down and I'm going to go to UI and let's select panel there we go that's my panel right there and I'm just gonna let's zoom so that we can see the panel so I'm drag that there we go so I can see whatever I'm working on all right, so I'm going to select that panel and the next thing I want to do now is I'm going to right click inside the panel and I want to add, let's add a text field. Go to UI again and select legacy inside the legacy. Grab there, that's a text field. Okay, with the text field, I'm going to change the data in there to tick tactile and I will change the size of that to about 100 and you see here where we have rect transform click on the rect transform I want to get it centered right up there okay so let's just drag and I will place it right up there okay that's fine now the next thing is just get it centered and I'm gonna make it bold as well there we go and one other thing that we can do is I'm going to add an image underneath that very text field come in here that's the image so just drag it up much so that we can see the text properly so what we then do is grab the image paste it right above the text so that we can see the image that's good now the next thing that we want to do now we now want to add some components to the to the panel so i'm going to right click on the panel again and i'm going to add and go to ui legacy add a button this button, I'm going to change the size of that button to 160 by 160. That is fine for me. Okay. So I actually need nine of those. So I'm going to copy this. Right click. Duplicate. Duplicate again. Now select it all. Duplicate. And right click another duplicate. Now, let's separate them. This very one move it here so one underneath and we have this move that down and move this down here that is fine this one move it we want to right underneath here okay that is six now we want this down here seven move seven down and drag it here let's get it positioned properly now 
button number eight bring that down as well right there brilliant so i'm going to now give each of these button their respective names okay the very first one i'm going to call it btn tick one that is fine followed by btn tick two btn tick three btn tick four btn tick five btn tick six btn tick seven btn tick eight and finally btn tick nine there we go enter nine there okay that's good all right so let's kind of like tidy up a little bit just drag this image right up there and that is my panel i'm going to drag it down a little bit more and grab every single button move them up right there and this position that image again buttons move them up all right so i'm going to just click on i just want to see how it's going to look like there we go so we just need a bit of a tidying up okay but this still need readjustment but that's no problem now let's do this i want to select text click on the text okay grab a hold of that delete whatever we have in that text and change the size of change the font size to about 100 as well all right let's do the same thing for the next one here and delete that change the size to 100 followed by this so i'm going to repeat the same thing for the others is the text content that we're deleting and changing the font size to 100 okay let's speed that up now you guys get the whole idea okay all of the buttons are now changed which you guys can even do in one go just select all of the text content in there and you can just change it in one go okay that was what i did now you see the panel if i run it look at what's gonna happen that error will still be there you see that so let's take care of that now make sure your panel is selected come right here you see where we are rec transform select that and all we just need to do is just click on center and that's it that should fix that to so run there okay but let's move it up instead of center i'm going to ask it to yeah let's take it to the top and i'm just going to select this text and the image and drag it all down in fact drag everything all down a little bit just move it all down okay that'll do now run so now we have a bit of room that is it that's it all right so end that now we need two more buttons here just two more okay i'm just gonna click on two buttons i need two more of those okay those two right click and select duplicate okay move them away there and i'm going to increase the size of those two buttons let's make that about okay that's fine all right the text content in there this one i'm going to change this one to reset and the name change that to bt and reset the button should be known as bt and reset then the next one underneath here i'm going to call that new game change this to btn new game there we go all right looking good 
Now we also need text field. Okay, I'm going to right click on the panel there and let's come into UI and need legacy. I'm going to need a text field there. Grab hold of that text field, bring it right up here. Yeah, somewhere there. And I'm going to make that about 60. Okay, and make that bold. The text content in it, I'm going to change that to player X. There. So let's increase the font size. Where is it? I think that's it here. We need to increase that to something much more readable that we can see. So let's say make that about two six seven. Yeah. And the height. We can make that about seventy. Yeah, it's bold. Alright, that's good. So bring it here. Alright, that's fine. I'm going to need one more of those, but first of all, let's change the name of these to something display. LBL player X. There. So that I'll know who is who. That's player X here. Now, right click on the player X text and create a duplicate. Push it down. That'll be for player O. LBL player O. There we go. Now I'm going to select both text, right click, and let's change. Let's create a duplicate and just move that right in front of them. Very good. Now, this one here, we need to change that X to O. There we go. Okay, this one. We change that to txt player x. I'm giving them this name so that I don't get it mixed up. And I'm going to delete the text content in there. Enter the value of zero. Get it centered. There we go. Repeat the same thing for this one. txt player o. Player o value zero. Get it centered as well. There we go. I think that is the end of the design of the interface. Let's see. There we go. That's how it's looking, guys. Now, we're going to have to put together some lines of codes. But there's something I would like, I would like to point out to you guys. You see, all of these components here is just to make the button interactive interactive so if you want you can always do that for all the buttons just make them more interactive for your end user so i'm going to select all of these buttons and just change one or two things of those buttons oh this one is meant to be btn new new button okay new game new game there all right it's good to it's actually good to give them all a name so that I know who is who. Now, look at all of these buttons. I mean, I've selected them all. You see here, the normal state is white. The highlight state, you can just change that to maybe something grayish, red looking. Right. So that's fine. Then uh, the press stage, you can change that back to white. The choice is yours or maybe gray and select state maybe that that can be white whatever that's it so if i run it now and you guys will see what i'm talking about my mouse is in can you see that okay that is me selecting okay so that's taken care of now you know how to do that and that now we need to put together one game empty game object here right click on the panel and inside the panel i'm going to select empty game object the empty game object will be called btn game object yeah that's the name 
Now I'm gonna drag every single button. These nine buttons, I mean. I'm gonna drag them all straight into the game object. So select tick one up to tick nine, drag and drop it right inside BTN game object. There we go. So now I'm gonna just drag my game object, place it right underneath the panel. I will also include these two buttons. Drag and just dump it inside BTN game object and the other one as a new new game and the reset button we will drag it and dump it right in there as well there so if I collapse they are all in that very object so that is fine so what we then need to do now is to put together some lines of codes let's see there we go so with that guys I'm gonna call it the end of the first part of this tutorial and I'll see you guys shortly